Quantum numbers describe where an electron is located around the nucleus of an atom. It's like the electron's address. Each quantum number gives a little bit more specific information as to where the electron is. No two electrons can have the same set of quantum numbers, or in other words, they can't have the exact same address. The principal quantum number is going to describe the energy level of an electron. The angular momentum quantum number is going to describe the subshell or subenergy level. It will also describe the shape of the orbitals within that subshell. The magnetic quantum number is going to describe the number of orbitals in a given subshell. And finally, the spin quantum number is going to describe the fact that there is only two electrons per orbital and that these electrons are going to be spinning in different directions. The principal quantum number is going to have integer values that are whole numbers starting with 1 and going all the way up basically to infinity. Now these describe the energy level of an electron and so if we remember Bohr's diagram it's going to kind of be like the rings of Bohr's diagram. Each ring is going to be adding another energy level and so the first ring would be quantum number of 1, 2, 3 and so on. The bigger the number the larger the energy. The angular momentum quantum number uses the letter L as its symbol. And this is going to be numbers 0, 2, n minus 1. And this is based on a given n value. So for example, if n is equal to 3, there will be L values of 0, 1, and 2. And these numbers correspond to a symbol and a shape. And so these are the sublevels of an energy level. Okay, so if the L value is 0, it's going to have the letter S as its symbol. If it's 1, it's going to be P, 2 is D, and 3 is F. You may notice that for the first energy level, if N equals 1, we only have one possibility for L, so L can only be 0. Remember that L will be 0 to negative 1, uh, and as we move up, if n equals 2, we're going to have L values of 0 and 1, and we just kind of keep on moving. Once we get to the third energy level, you can see that we keep adding another sublevel each time. The magnetic quantum number is going to describe the number of orbitals for a given sublevel. We use the symbol m sub L, and m sub L is equal to negative L up to positive L. These are whole number integers including 0. So 0 is going to count here. And if you look down at the bottom, we have different sublevels. S, we remember, is equal to 0. That's an L of 0. P is 1. D is 2. And F is 3. And so for S, if we look here for the M sub Ls, we would have anything from negative S to positive S, including 0. And so we only have one possibility. And that's what this line is representing. For P, negative L to positive L including 0 and from D same thing you can see how we just keep adding each time if you notice we have a trend here because for S we only have one orbital for P we've added an extra two orbitals for D we've added another two orbitals and we just keep adding two orbitals each time so once again the magnetic quantum number is the number of orbitals within a sub level Finally, we have the spin quantum number, and the spin quantum number describes the fact that an orbital can only have two electrons, that is the max, and we use the symbol m sub s, and this is going to have a value of either plus a half or minus a half, it won't be anything different. And so let's just take a look at something called an orbital diagram here, and we'll do this for carbon. Uh, so if you look down at the bottom, I have one of these orbital diagrams ready to go. So I can see the different sublevels here. And we'll do this for carbon. And I'm going to fill these orbitals with electrons uh, according to the spin quantum number. So we usually indicate the plus a half using an up arrow and the minus half using a down arrow. And carbon has six electrons. And so we have two electrons in the 1s two electrons in the 2s, and we need two more electrons, and I'll put those into the 2p. Now you can see that I occupied two different orbitals here, and we'll talk about that a little bit later why I did that. But those are the quantum numbers.